Um, speaking of Mr. Musk, he was just on SNL. He was. I actually yeah, watched the was. episode last night. Um, what did you think? I thought it was really good. And he was. He said he was uh, in his monologue. He said he is the only host uh, with Asperger's. Yeah, that's and, what I heard. And, well, and he said that. Um, he said at least the only host that's told you about it. Right. Um, but I, I know that I, Dan Aykroyd has ho- come back and hosted. I'm pretty sure. And he has Asperger's. Did you oh, know that? I did not. I did not know that either. Yeah, he came out in an interview and was saying that he has Asperger's. But like both hold uh, Dan Aykroyd, comedic genius. Yeah. Asperger's. But they always say, you know, you have Asperger's, you know, like they have tendencies to be sp- smarter. Like they have, you know, like higher brain function. But it's like because of the high brain function, like it's they're usually a little, you know, more awkward or, you know, whatnot because they, you know, it's they're they they work at a faster pace. Like right, you know what I mean? right. they can't understand this like goofy ass nonsense that we do for an <laughs> hour and a half, uh, a live show. And they definitely don't understand the, the people that log in every week and watch. Like it's, right. it's just like, they, so, because in like, you know, so they say smarter, more intelligent, you know, so that's why people think he's an alien because yeah, because he's different. And I'm like, Holy shit. They've been calling him an alien this whole time. And they're like making I mean, fun of someone with <laughs> maybe he, Asperger's. I mean, you never know. Like well, no, I, I still saying. wouldn't be surprised if one day he just like, uh, like he just his his human body just unzipped, and, like <laughs> walked an alien, and, like and he's and like, gotcha. I lied to you guys, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and exactly. black appears, yeah. But yeah, he well, and I mean that makes sense why he's such a freaking genius when it comes to like, you know, sending people to the to Mars and doing all that. And uh, my favorite part of his uh, monologue was him telling, uh, talking about how he. Uh, uh, he's like, well, you know, I'm, of course, I'm going to be a little awkward and weird. He's like, I'm an eccentric, an eccentric billionaire working on sending people to them to Mars. <laughs> he's like, what did you expect? <laughs> That's good. That's good. And it's always good when you make fun of yourself. Right. Like as long as you can like make fun of and like laugh at yourself and like, he was a real good sport. Cause there were some like, you know, they always do that when, you know, in the sketches, well, they dress him as Wario. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that was, was that was a good wor- scene. I was fine. Did he, out of all the sketches there, like, did he was he part of like one of the funniest ones, or were like Weekend Updates and stuff like that better? He was on Weekend Update. Was it good? Yeah, because he came in and talked about uh, Dogecoin. Oh yeah. And he came in and like came in as like a professional analyst, and he was like, "Please refer to me as the father of Dogecoin." And the Doge I was father. Like, Gotcha. Um, but yeah, he was he was good. I thought he was funny. Uh, I feel like some of his jokes didn't land as hard as they uh, could. I like I laughed harder than the audience. I feel like at some of them. <laughs> yeah. But like I feel like I was just like you know like I think he's such an impressive dude that he's accomplished so much. He's with a Asperger's. legitimate character. Yeah. He is. Yeah. And he, like with so much, like you know, like, like Aspergers, and then also like he did the uh, renewable energy. Like he talked about his you know, renewable and sustainable energy, like how that's, you know, important to move better or move forward into a better future for, you know, leave behind for people and stuff. And I thought that was real cool. Just like that, but he did, he, he had a lot of funny stuff and I wasn't expecting it. Cause you know, you don't know him to be like the comedic guy. Yeah. So I thought it was real cool. And he actually made a joke about how he smoked weed on Rogan. Uh, he was like, <laughs> when he did that, the world stopped. Mm-hmm. Right, he like, did. People were like, "What?" Well, and and he said, he's like, people say that like I've been, like I I just go around, I, I go on podcasts and smoke weed, and he's like, as if I'm going from podcast to podcast, just lighting up blunts. <laughs> he's like, that is not what happened. I did it one time. <laughs> And I was like, exactly. Like, I have not seen him do it. I Google things like that. Like, I'm like, ha, ah, like Elon Musk smoking weed on all the podcasts. And like, I'm like, he doesn't. Like, he just did it the once. I just read some funny things. I'm just going to say some quotes from the show. Yeah, go for go. it. Um, he said, uh, to anyone I've offended, I just want to say I reinvented electric cars and I'm sending people to Mars in a rocket ship. <laughs> Did you think I was going to be a chill, normal dude? And then he made a joke. He made a couple jokes. I'll just, uh, do two of them. He said, uh, <laughs> he joked about SNL host mentioning, uh, OJ Simpson and he said he killed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was funny. He, he, he talked about how he he's like <clears throat> OJ Simpson 
host it, you know, like, oh, because he related it to the, he's like, I only smoked weed on one podcast. He's like, I'm like the OJ Simpson of smoking weed on podcast. I only did it one time. That's like chalking him up to a murderer. And like, he only did it once. And they were like, in fun fact, uh, he hosted the, t- uh, in, you know, the first time in this year and the second time, yeah, 1978 and the second time in 1996. And he killed both times. And that was the punchline. And I was like, genius awesome yeah, like that was good. so funny and i wasn't that's expecting good. a punchline like that from him so that was really and good then, and hats off to elon for being such a great sport. oh just wait for this one this one's even better if you're a middle schooler uh he said he touched on his own terrible twitter in- instincts where he tweeted 69 days after 420 again haha he said <laughs> i don't know i thought it was funny that's why i wrote ha at the end <laughs> i like his humor I don't know. No, I thought he was very funny. I thought um, he, you know, had he's obviously a little bit more dry. Yeah, I definitely think it worked. I think so. Like, yeah. I mean, dry humor is good. Yeah. Uh, who was that comedian you showed me? He was dry as hell and he was hilarious. Oh, Anthony Jessel. Like, yeah. Yes. He's, but his whole shtick is he's an <clears throat> asshole. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I mean I, 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 he's hilarious though. <laughs> Watch yes. him all day as long as you can't. As long as you're like not getting offended that easily. Right. Like you can d- definitely recommend Jessel Nick. Right, right.